Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the new color slice feature you can find in the Vinci Resolve version 19. Now this is still in beta so it might not work perfectly, but it's really awesome. So as you all might know, Blackmagic Design, creators of Da Vinci, released a very long awaited camera. It's a cube style, full frame cinema camera. I have footage from the camera here, they released some test footage, so, so basically what I did is I converted the footage with a CSD, Cineon film log, added the film LUTs from the Finci in here, then I added a little curve, add a little bit of extra contrast to it, some filmic contrast. Now we're gonna look at the new tab. As you can see here, there is a new tab you can click on. It looks really cool. You have all your primary colors, like red, green, blue, but also yellow, cyan, and magenta, but also the skin tone sector here, which is really neat. As you can see, the shot already looks really nice, but we can make it look even better by using new built-in density effects that they added to Resolve. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our density at like 0.50. It's already quite a bit darker, which is a heavy change, as you can see. So like I've said, the finish is still a bit buggy, so sometimes if you full frame, stuff like this happens. Probably because I changed my screen resolution. So let's see if that changes. If I do this, it does not. Okay. Uh, we'll ignore that for now. We have this shot right here. So what we can do here, we have the skin tone section. We can look what skin tones are. We can press Shift H to show them all of the time, refine it a little bit, make them. And then we can pull up the factor scope, look at the skin tones here. They're perfectly on the line, but in my opinion, maybe a little bit more red and slightly more saturated. We also remove slightly some of the density on the skin tones because they were a bit too dark. We add a slight bit of the density to the red because the red looks really nice when dense. Though it's a light, so you should be a little bit careful. And then the main other thing I'm gonna do is change this blue. It looks nice, and normally you would do this in the color warper, but now you can do it here and it looks much nicer. So as you can see, it's in the blue section mostly. Sign is obviously sign, but we're gonna go for the blue. It looks properly selected, so we're gonna change our hue a little bit. Towards sign. A little bit towards sign, like 400 something. Yeah. Then we're gonna remove a little bit of saturation. Quite a bit, actually. It's too much right there. And then we're gonna add up the density quite a bit because it looks really nice. Now we made our overall look go from this to this. As you can see, it looks way more filmic. It's absolutely insane that it's built in now because before you had to either download a free DCL, which I made a video about, all of you loved it. Now you can do it within Resolve itself or you would have to buy a DCL or plugin from a third party. And now it's built in and it absolutely works amazingly as you can see. I really love that you can choose where it affects the colors. These DCTLs, for example, don't allow you to do that. And you have an overall depth slider, you can add some saturation, and it looks amazing. We could also make a little bit of a change in the yellow if we wanted to, by lowering the saturation a little bit, because when we look at the yellow, as you can see when you press Shift H, it switches between the different sections you select. So we're gonna go for yellow, I'm gonna refine it to be mostly the background. That should be fine. Shift H, desaturate it a little bit, and it can be a bit lighter in my opinion. And now we also did that to the background. Sorry for it not being centered, but there we go. We went from this to this, which in my opinion is a much more cinematic and pleasing look. Now you can use the section in any way you want, but obviously this is gonna replace your saturation tools completely. I'm not gonna be using these anymore because there's no real point. You have way more control here. You can set the saturation depth, saturation balance, etc. So if we say here, we're gonna add some saturation, which is quite a bit. Obviously it's way too much, but with the balance we can see, you can see you want it a bit darker or lighter. You can balance it out. And you can also play around with the depth and other stuff in here. Also, obviously you have your huge slider. And we can copy this clip over to a different clip here. And it also looks great. Even though it was shot in completely different lighting, the skin tones are right. It goes from this to this. It looks much nicer. Same here, copy it over. 
let's find a nice frame. There we go. It's the same frame they put, took for, I think. This is how it looks before, and this is after. Before, after. It adds a lot of cinematic depth to your image and a lot of control to it. And that's absolutely awesome. Anyways, this was a very short video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you're excited about the new tools. There's also one tool that, boy, 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 it's crazy that they added it to the Finch Resolve itself. I'll be releasing a video on that soon. I have a little, it will be a little bit longer in the making than most of the other people making videos about it. But I'll attach something very nice to it. Anyways, see you all in the next one.